a city in ruins and still a battleground. After months of fighting, Ukrainian forces continue to hold on in Bakhmut under increasingly dire circumstances. The enemy storming us is well prepared. They're not just convicts, as some say. There are units that know what they're doing. We mustn't underestimate our opponent. Kiev has acknowledged that it's losing ground in the heavily contested city located in the eastern Donetsk province. The Kremlin now says it's making progress using what it calls assault groups, a term often used for troops from the mercenary paramilitary Wagner group. The assault detachments liberated three quarters in the west part of the city of Bakhmut. Airborne troops blocked the enemy on the flanks and supported the assault detachments to take control of the city. Despite having little obvious strategic value, Moscow sees Bakhmut as a key stepping stone to conquering Donetsk province, which it illegally annexed last summer despite not having full control over. In the nearby town of Chasivyar, volunteers distribute humanitarian aid and try in vain to convince the remaining civilians to evacuate in case Bakhmut falls and the Russians push westward. They've lived here their whole lives. They know every pot and pan they bought. This is their property. They know leaving would mean losing it all. With Ukraine reportedly preparing a counteroffensive, fighting in the region will likely only intensify in the coming months.